When you purchase Xeno, you will be sent a welcome email that looks like this. It is in this email that you will be provided with some important information. Information such as customer support contact email, a link to a how-to page, and links to download the software for both Windows and Mac. Most importantly, you will see in this blue box your activation ID, which you will need to create your login details. I will click on the Windows link, but this process will be the same if you are using a Mac. Double click on the installer to start the install process. You will be taken to a window that looks like this. Here you can choose the location of where the software will be saved on your computer. Then click install to continue the process. After the software has been installed or whenever you open Xeno, you will be greeted by a window that looks like this. Type your username and password into the respective fields. If you check the Remember Me box, Xeno will remember your username and password. If you check the Auto Login box, Xeno will bypass this window in the future and log you in automatically. If this is your first time using Xeno, you will need to register to get your username and password. Click register and use your activation ID, which was supplied to you in your welcome email. After registration, you can use these details to log in like you would hereafter. Once you are logged in, you will see a window that looks like this. On the left, there is a what's new section. This will be updated regularly with any relevant information, like the announcement of additional vehicles, etc. In the bottom right, there is a launch button. This will start the Xeno software. Above it, there will be an update button when one is available. When Xeno is launched, you will have a visual similar to this. In the top left, you will find the main menu button. You can toggle it on and off when needed. Within the main menu, you will find the settings menu. In here, you can adjust Xeno to your liking. For example, if you wish to use a large touchscreen display, there are settings to optimize this. You can adjust the graphic settings and hone in on the best settings for your device. Spandex offers all of their well-known brands as default in Xeno, but if you wish to only see specific brands, you can toggle them on and off. Xeno has an array of keyboard shortcuts if you wish to utilize them. When Xeno starts up, the vehicles and environments are set to random. If you would like a specific vehicle and or environment to show when it starts, then uncheck the random box and select your desired vehicle and or environment. Xeno has a feature that allows you to email your renders. Although you can amend the text as you send the email, the default text for each type of render can be edited to make this process quicker or sound more like you. Make sure you remember to apply your settings once you have made any of these changes, otherwise they will not take effect. 